Hello everyone, welcome to the Under Blue Hat SEO series episode. We will talk about website move and the migration, website migration types, how you can actually prepare your website to a migration without losing any traffic, especially after the helpful content update or losing a broad core algorithm update. And let's assume you are migrating an existing domain to a brand new domain and how you can make the brand new domain ranks better with the same content without having an historical data compared to the previous domain despite it has actually lots of page rank historical data and existing rankings and to be able to achieve these successful website moves across different domains we will talk about how you can transfer ranking signals via brand identity we will talk about the differences between website name domain name and brand name these three things are not the same and we will talk about the zenarmor.com, which is a website previously actually Sunny Valley. And we will also see that Sunny Valley actually lost one of the core algorithm updates during the last year in March, as much as I can remember. And what will happen if you actually transfer ranking signals from a lost or a website which lost a core algorithm update to do a brand new domain? Do you think that actually that negative ranking state will be inherited? If it is in inherited, how you will avoid it? Because many times we did many A-B testing. Usually, when you lose a broad core algorithm update, you can perform a website migration. After that migration process, you can see initially you rank way better. But after two, three or four months, you get the negative ranking state and the effects or inherit the ranking state of the previous domain because of the past core algorithm update and it starts to lose or make you lose rankings one more time. And we will explain why it didn't happen in this one. If you have a SAS, if you have a domain that lost helpful content update or any broad core algorithm update, if you have multiple domains and if you have products with different names and if these names are conflicting with each other with your brand name, you should watch this video. Plus, we will talk about CMS migrations because it is also a type of website migration. We will also process URL changes, website design changes and how you can actually perform a proper website move even if you don't change the domain name and how and why the search engine actually cares about these changes. First of all, even if this is a blue head SEO case study, you will see that actually I already created 200,000 words of documents. From now on, I can tell that probably I won't be publishing that much holistic SEO case studies, married life affects your schedule. But I am considering publishing this one as an ebook. As you know, one of the main advantages and the superiority of my case studies is, first of all, they are all scientific and they touch all the historical changes from Google site, other search engines, and we use categorical syllogism to actually transfer a learning from a vertical to the another one. We also touch all the research papers, patents, Plus, we give the website names so that you can do the future examinations as you wish. And if we start to process some of these steps, I was just looking at my cat because it is about to crush my some one of my laptops. But anyway, so in the beginning of this specific ebook, I will be defining some baseline concepts. Then we will give you a background information with certain type of concepts. Then you will see actually that I am differentiating the migration process like pre-migration and partial migration and complete migration. In my opinion and researches, to be able to have a successful website migration, you should actually plan your website moves. Even if you don't change the website name, it might be just for design changes or URL changes. You should have these three sections mainly. If you read these specific, let's say, instructions from me, you will actually see direct suggestions. Since this is a blue hat case today, I will keep it simple. When I say simple, I mean fundamental. 
And let me show you the results. This is the Sunny Valley IO. And in fact, a few people who claim that actually some of our past SEO case studies are not ranking as before, they even use this website because they even didn't check that we actually redirected it. Another thing is that I am not active for most of the past SEO case studies too. You should use these case studies and the websites for the timeline that I am mainly active for them. When you start to manage 30, over 30 projects, including yours, including joint ventures, and also your own, let's say, stock market tracking uh, processes. It's not that easy to actually, let's say, be active as before. And mainly, the main advantage of this migration is that we didn't lose any traffic, plus we actually ranked even better. And this was the actual partial migration process. This was the pre-migration process. We will define these things. Then let me show you actually the some other differences. This is the zenarmo.com. One section that you should pay attention here is the actual query count. If you look carefully, you will see that Compared to the Sunny Valley IO, we rank for more queries, despite we use the same content. Sunny Valley IO was able to reach out only to 30,000 clicks according to the Ahrefs, and it was able to come to the, let's say, in total for all these regions, 31,000 queries. If you look at to the actual current situation, it is way higher than the before, and initially it was even better. You can see the negative ranking state has been inherited, then avoided. And you can see that it ranks for more queries. Let's look at also the this one. Again, you see that actually Zenarmor.com, according to the SEM rush, it comes to the 60,000. And you see the total query count 73,000. According to here, Sanewale couldn't even reach out to the, these numbers before. So you should ask this question to yourself. Despite this domain, which is Zenarmor.com, it is completely a new domain why and how it is actually ranking better compared to the previous one. If you are able to find the answer for this question, even if you lose future core algorithm updates, product review updates, helpful content updates, or backlink or content spam updates, still you can actually save your website by doing simple migrations. If you are able to, I suggest you to watch my expired domain case study. As you remember, in that case study, we were reviving an existing let's say, expired domain, thanks to a core update by changing its, let's say, identity and we were getting ranking signals from the previous state. I will, Maybe I will put a kind of screenshot of this, this video, a corner, or my a video editor will do that. I suggest you to check that video strongly because it also involves ranking signal transition from 20 years ago to the today by matching logo, by matching design, by matching actual identity. This is one of the problems in most of these type of, let's say, website moves. I can show all of the book, of course, but one of the main problems is that most of these specific website moves, they don't launch the domain before. It means that if I perform a website move, I open the second domain and I continue to rank it at least for three months. And while doing that, I use exactly the same design, same color, same logo, and same future header, and the same main content. During this core existing process, the new domain will be giving all the canonicals and all the internal links, technically ex external links, back to the old domain. And second suggestion from me is verify both of them in the search console and continue to make them coexist for a while. The second phase of this specific website move process is that you will need to slightly use crypto redirections. I explain some of them actually in this area, like how to prepare new domain to the partial and the complete migration steps. In the crypto redirection process, we basically use it from Google. Let me try to show it. I believe Google has a simple guideline to explain that. So imagine that after the third month, you directly write here that by telling the second domain actually has been pro presented with its existing content in the first one. The purpose here is actually telling the search engine that second website and the first website are co-owned by the same owner. 
And the next phase will be actually migrating only a small part of your first domain to the second domain. In this section, usually I choose the most corporate pages, not homepage, but about page, contact page, product pages, services, and the best ranking informational content. Once I move this content from first domain to the second one, it means that two websites start to become one because second one was giving canonical back to the first one. Now the first one starts to actually give its content to the second one. It's, it looks like actually they are the same. And while doing that, you will need to remove the crypto redirects from second domain and also remove canonicalization to the first one. In the third phase, we will start to give crypto redirects from first domain to the second one. And we will also start to give canonicalization from first domain to the second one. In the last phase, after gathering enough level of historical data, we will perform the complete site migration. Once we complete the site, full website migration process, we will need to also add new content. It means that I will need to change some sections or the segments in my semantic content network so that the search engine can see the true value of the second domain at the same time. We also will need to associate the first domain and the second domain to each other by using structured data, by using, let's say, some uh, parent organization or sub-organization connections, you will need to clearly signal that both of the entities are owned by the same owner. And you will need to verify that they are owned by the same owner from multiple places. I will do some new videos for my old case studies because they are still valid. In this one, for instance, for unibaby.com, I published it in the serps.com years ago. And here, as you see, I use a Zajubashi holding for actually giving authority to the my new e-commerce website because it is owned by a holding. You need to transfer these things by matching your identity. If you're able to trans, let's say, define yourself as a holding asset, you will gain further trust from the search engine. I did the same for the Wawa that Wawa cars that Wawa that cars by opening a Wikipedia page for them and I connected them to the Vital or Vital holding and Petrol Office holding, which is another subholding of another international one. And another thing is that you should understand this concept, open information extraction. Even if there are not links between web documents, search engines can actually connect sentences to each other from multiple sources and create a knowledge base. If these multiple sources tell the same thing, you will be getting further trust signals from the search engine at the same time. And another thing is this area too. If you look at here, you will see that this article here from Forbes, but inside the source section, you see Rachel Witchkowski, who is an American journalist. The context of the source for this Google is different now. Source might be your website or the author. So basically, you need to have the same founder, same author, same stuff, same identity as much as possible. Imagine that we redirect Forbes.com with this article to somewhere else. But Rachel Witkowski is not there anymore. It means you will lose some certain type of or level of identity signals, which will cause you to lose also the ranking signals. And you will need to associate these two brands to each other as much as possible. This is another case that I didn't publish, to be honest. And there are some explanations here, like domain A, C, D, and B. If they are linking each other, they can be perceived as a single website. Four different domains can be part of a single website. That's why you should understand the differences between these concepts. Since this is a Blue Hat SEO video, I will try to keep them simple. But by using the Wayback Machine, you can see how I am changing the content. This is Sanevale IO, and in the About Us section, I directly mention Zenarmo. In the website before the migration, be sure that your new domain brand name has been mentioned in your first website and you should use it inside the parentheses like they are the synonyms to each other. The next step for you actually will be creating different type of queries and I will need to go down to be able to explain it further and further. You will need to create these type of queries. For instance, this is from Zenarmor and we are ranking for Zenarmor queries like Zenarmor Cloud License Firewall Database Base. But if it goes for different queries, you will see some others. Let's say uh, Zanarmor again, the price, OpenSense, PFSense. The important thing here is that same queries also exist for Sanivale.io. 
If you are able to match this same query network with two different domains, it means that actually you are sending same users from the same user cluster from first domain to the second one. Both of them ranks for the same query network and same users give the same signals or behavior signals, which approves that the both of the websites are able to actually satisfy uh, the same, let's say, the query networks or the need behind these queries. I have given all this data for these queries too. This is an example from actually one of my Turkish researches. I didn't uh, refresh them. But imagine that this, this business place is owned by this person. And when this person has a penalty, in prison penalty, Google directly picks it up from news and put it to the Google business profile. This happened years ago. It means that actually they connect the owner directly to the business identity and they try to give the identity of the owner and reflect its trustworthiness in that area directly too. There are many other things that I explained here. For instance, this one. The design is really important. This is from my Birmingham uh, search. Uh, event speech. I will be giving my uh, private speeches from private conferences in our uh, topical authority course by starting from the end of the March. And in this one, we directly explain that design changes are important. When you do a website move, be sure that you don't change the content. You shouldn't change the URL. You shouldn't change the design. You shouldn't change even the font type and many other things. I even try to cap, keep the CSS, JS font files URLs same together with the image URLs as well. If you're able to keep these things same, search engine will only be focusing on actually the domain change. But if you change multiple things at the same time, they will lose the track and it will take very much longer time and probably it will be failing as well. So in this sample, we change only one sentence in place and we increase the traffic like this. So basically the change here is coming only from taking a sentence from middle of the page to the top of the page. So even that affects your rankings tremendously. And this is what I call micro semantics. We do micro changes. And again, here we explain the click models. For instance, when someone clicks to a specific type of page, search engine tries to understand the type of the click based on the type of the query. And based on that, longer sessions might mean frustration or the also satisfaction. So the design changes here are important to understand from search engine point of view. That's why I suggest you to keep things same as much as possible. And this one explains how they are using neural networks to understand your actual web pages. They just get these feature vectors to understand that whether your new content or new design is same or not. These are of course a bit more let's say advanced sections and no need to mention them in a blue hat uh, case study version. These are again from some for some of my uh, past researchers like this WIPs, for instance, based on the HTML structure, they under try to understand which segment of the web page is more important. In the actual search of the record podcast, maybe I can find it. Let me read here. Yes. Uh, Google, yeah, Gary Elias directly said that actually centerpiece annotation shouldn't be changing during the website moves. If you change your website's centerpiece annotation or overall design, they will need to understand first whether these two websites are owned by the same owner, and then they will need to change whether the content is same or not. This is the reason that I even don't change the path in the URL. I just change the domain name and the logo. That's it. The rest of the sections has to stay same as much as possible. So these are two sections here. I will demonstrate you two more websites here, and they are also they also perform CMS changes. CMS changes also will be affecting your rankings at the same time. Even if the design is same, content is same, everything is same, still is important. Let's make it three websites. I will show you three ones. First of all, you should understand that here, I actually define the types of the website moves. And I believe maybe it is at the beginning. Yeah, domain migration, host migration, backend migration, which involves the CMS migration. Frontend migration involves design changes and URL structure changes. Be sure that you are doing only one of these at one time. The first one that I will show you uh, will be a kind of sports betting website. In this website, I told the owner of this website many times that when you do the perform migration, please be sure that you even don't leave your CSS, JS, font files like 404. In this case, they actually lost tremendous amount of URLs, like maybe even 50,000 URLs. 
are just dead. And they just hang out there. And search engine can't accept such a truth. They will continue to actually crawl it. And as long as they actually hit 400 uh, status codes, more than your 200 status code URLs, it means that you have a high cost of retrieval, which is a concept that I invented to explain topical authority in a better way too. So if the search engine crawls 100 URLs from your website and 95% of them are 404 or 301, it means that you are wasting my time or the search engine's time. In this case, they will give up from your source and because of this CMS change, then they just migrated from React to the WordPress. And in this specific change, it caused them to actually lose nearly 40% of the traffic. Another example that I will show you actually will be from a different type of domain. This is a huge domain. And you can see that actually after the CMS migration, they lost some average position and some impressions here too. Technically, they just migrated two subfolders to the WordPress. It's not even a complete CMS migration, but still it causes us to lose the rankings because if I check the log files of this website, I will find lots of four of fours. And you should understand that according to your back and structure, search engine uses a different crawler, different crawling pattern if, or scheme. If you change your specific backend structure, you're also, uh, the, the search engine will need to adapt it. And this is one of the issues here. I will publish this case and probably after fixing this website, we started to work like just five weeks ago or something, or maybe two months. Uh, but it will be, it's a huge website. It will be way better in, in the near future, but it will take time because uh, as you know, I give only unique suggestions in every head video, but I always tell that when you go to the pages report, not index section should be zero. Let's say this one, like over 10 millions. And another domain that I want to show you here, I will need to blur this domain, of course. This website also performed a, a CMS migration. So during the CMS migration here, we actually use page rank increase, which means I wanted to keep the website safe during my migration process. Once I performed the CMS migration, I published 20 or 25 new style articles. We added new, let's say the backlinks to the website, plus it increased actually our, let's say, it keeps the website safe during this migration process and we became sure that the design is same, internal links are same and the old resource URLs are migrated as well, which means all CSS URLs are migrated to new CSS. It's also important you should migrate your CSS to CSS because crawler type that comes to crawl your CSS is not same the crawler that comes for your HTML. Do not redirect your CSS to HTML, match the types. And in this one, the migration for CMS is successful. You can also see that it increases rankings in a really good way. But I must tell that this website has been uh, created by people who follow actually our course and the case studies. It's an exact match domain as your project. We started like three or three and a half months ago. So most of the success is actually coming from their team and well done for them. At the same time, I must tell that uh, they used, they, they were a huge one of the exact match domain cases together with the multilingual SEO case study that we created. If you want, you can also check them. And this is the multilingual one with the 46 languages. You should check it. Exact match domain is your case study here. I suggest you check it as well. I won't be refreshing these case studies because the principles here are evergreen. Even if Google does 50 different new updates, still you'll be able to benefit from these mindset as much as possible. And if you want to check actually expired domain uh, case study, maybe I can find it from the Google quickly. Yeah. This is that specific domain. I definitely suggest you to watch this video because here too we explain how you can actually use brand identity for the expired domain for these new phases. I wish I could use actually paint to explain these things rather than my hands because I'm still using Mac and Mac doesn't have it that much, but I hope it will be beneficial for you. Maybe later I can do a second video. When I Once I launch this ebook, I can do a second video to explain it further and we can try to have it uh, in a better way. Here from the SEMrush, you can see that actually, again, after the migration, it increases its actually overall rankings together with the page rank and the new content, of course. And when it comes to the hidden website names, we will explain them later. Now I want to actually uh, signal and feature a few people from our Holistic SEO community. First thing is, this is from Tom Riley. He actually listens to our podcast. He says that sites can operate in traffic corridors between core updates. If you improve the site between core updates, you can move up to the next traffic tire. So kind of line with the trotting your reporting, core 
or, or a Google talked about this and maybe could offer further insights. First of all, thank you for the mention. It is true. If you see that actually, even if you try everything, you don't increase your rankings, it's normal. Just wait for the corrupted eyes always say it. It doesn't mean that you are doing something wrong or the perfectly fine. You can only understand after the core update, to be honest. But there are a few ways. You can check quality updates too, but this is the topic of another uh, video. Another thing is that uh, I published this case study silently. I will make a video for it. This is a, I didn't give the website name, but this is from 2021. There are more than actually, let's say, 15 different case studies I didn't publish. Probably I will publish them silently too. I don't know why these images are not working yet. I don't do SEO for holistic SEO that digital, but I also don't want to do it, but I will check why these images are not uploaded. Pro probably it is because of the email CDN. If you want, you can check this one. And I would like to also thank the Jean Christopher Choinert, if I if I hope I didn't butcher your name, because I actually published a video to explain how you can actually use Python to track the rankings as much as possible together with the alias tab bus. This is actually from two years ago process. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and many people liked it. It makes me happy. I want to thank the Gabby Noguera. I hope I didn't butcher your last name. Thank you for your mention and the thank you note. It always makes me happy to get actually these citations from different languages. I guess this is Spanish. And many thank you and I congratulate you for your success. I will also share it. I couldn't do it because I had a migraine day. And the same also goes for Martin Pirega, Pirega's, Pirex. I hope I mentioned correctly. He says that he is crazy about the topical map strategy that we created and he pays attention to that. And this one is special for me because he's a Turkish. When I see Turkish SEOs in the international environment, it makes me really happy because I can tell that in, in UK, Spain, Italy, and Turkey, when an SEO becomes a little bit successful, people usually get a little bit jealous. And I am against this mindset. That's why I'm calling it actually abundance mindset. When I see people from my own nation and they are succeeding, it makes me, to be honest, extra happy. Uh, at the end of the day, my last name is Gubur and this person is uh, Gubur. So even the last names are very similar. So thank you for his note. And I want to thank especially this citation here. Yes, we really care about our uh, trainees. And if they are successful, it makes me more happier. This is one of the reasons that I don't publish new articles that much yet. It is not uh, that much uh, makes me happy. I would like to also thank to the, these people, Matt Shaheen, Mustafa Kara, Bahadin Kusaksis, to support the SEO community in, in Turkey. And at the same time, there are many other things to mention, to be honest. There are community counts of the 13,000 on Facebook. And there is one more who is Mohammed Wazem. He also shared his success in a really good way. I will suggest you check it and communicate with him if you want. He thanks to our course and we thank him to become a great uh, student and a trainee. Try to subscribe to our newsletter on LinkedIn. It is only 8,000 and I try to publish weekly case studies here, especially this one is really huge article and the research. You can create multi-million companies as a single person thanks to generative AI today. And soon we will publish updates for the also Holy Scales, your uh, summit. Try to subscribe to our newsletter. It over the exceeds actually exceeds uh, 12,000 people. So I will be moving on to the Kushadasu very soon to form an SEO and entrepreneur community there too. And this year I will be going to the Dubai, Poland, Estonia, again, maybe probably most most probably Chiang Mai. We will have an event in Istanbul or Kushadasu. I am trying to see hotels still. And I will be going to the Northeast United States for doing some, let's say, agreements with the global companies in Fortune 500. And wish me luck. Things are growing. I am trying to survive while doing that. I hope we will be successful all together. So in this video, we will try to, we try to explain the website migrations and how you can actually perform successful ranking signal transitions, even if you lose broker algorithm updates and how you can actually protect your assets by just doing simple migrations. Be sure that especially you actually publish your second website before your migration, be sure that they are ranking for their each other names. Be sure that search engine gets them as synonyms to each other and reflected in related search terms and the auto completions. Next time I will try to use more visuals. And when I publish this ebook, I hope you, you can also get it. I will keep, keep it, uh, maybe even free. I don't know. I didn't decide it yet, but I am thinking about using that money for the cats uh, of my mother. She's feeding me the 30 cats every night. So it would be a good help for her. 
Thank you for following me. See you in the next times. Take care of yourself. Thank <laughs> you.